Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the current energies for you in love. What can you expect regarding love? And then we'll also look a little bit at who you might be dealing with. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Gemini watching. So just keep that in mind. Also, I just want to give a shout out real quick to my book, Love Tarot Made Easy. I don't know if anybody's aware. I don't talk about it often, but I do have a book. It's available on Amazon and I go into all 78 cards of the tarot and how you can interpret them for love. I also have a new cheat sheet available in my shop on Etsy where it's basically a tarot cheat sheet for how you can interpret all of the cards for love. So all that information will be in the description box if you're curious. Okay, so let's jump right in. For Gemini. Spirit Angels Guides. What message, what guidance do you have for Gemini? For Gemini. For Gemini. What does Gemini need to know, Spirit? What message do you have? Four of Swords. Justice. Ten of Swords. Wow, okay. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Move these down. Oh. Hmm. Well, Gemini, this is very simple. <laughs> very simple reading. Um, I feel like it's we're probably going to get a lot of clear energies in this reading um someone wants to apologize wants to make things right could be a libra could be a, a fire sign aries leo sagittarius i don't think this queen of wands um, is referencing a fire sign i think that this is just someone being uh attracted to you uh inspired by you interested in you i feel someone might have a lot of emotions when it comes to you i think this particular person did something in the past that they regret the seven of swords this person i feel thinks about it a lot um i also get with the four of swords and the ten of swords that there was an ending between you and this person and there's probably very little communication or action since that has happened um i also get the sense that some of you gemini's might not trust this particular person um, and if that's not true, this person thinks it's true. So they think this is how you are thinking of them or looking at them. Let's get some more insight here for Gemini. And then I'll clarify a little bit as well. What do we need to know for Gemini spirit? What are the energies for Gemini in love? What does Gemini need to know? Wow, unexpected event and secret admirer. Exactly. I feel like this this unexpected event card, but when I see unexpected event with secret admirer, I instantly think of a reveal. Someone has been watching you from afar, Gemini. They've been keeping tabs on you from afar. They're kind of like looking in your direction, like I said, with this queen of wands. But I feel like there's like a tower happening here, some sort of unexpected shakeup unexpected action from this person what's at the bottom of the deck wow unhealthy attachment bonds toxicity codependency what's after that difficult decision and strong bonds so this person might be in an unhealthy attachment or they might have been dealing with some unhealthy dynamics like in their own lives um maybe they've been dealing with um difficult people or have been stuck somewhere can i get one more please one more please energy for gemini regarding love what does gemini need to know what does gemini need to know spirit what does gemini need to know family room so family room is really a card about intimacy comfort um feeling so comfortable with someone that you are your true self um you're so comfortable with someone and in such an intimate setting that you're able to uh be more vulnerable more open i think that this uh, this person there, there's a connection with you that's different than other people i think with you they feel like they can be themselves around you 
that's what I'm getting here. Let's clarify. Spirit, can I get some clarity, please, for Gemini? Can I get some clarity, please, for Gemini? Now, what I find fascinating here is that the Ace of Wands is with the Ten of Swords. So whatever ending there has been between you and this person, I feel like someone's thinking about a new beginning. And again, there's like fire energy here. So it's like this, this drive, that's the word. Someone's like driven to do this or their, their mind keeps putting them back into, I don't know, it's almost like this person is being driven to act or driven to feel this way. You know, they're constantly coming back to this idea. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. I think you're looking really good right now, Gemini, or there's something about you that this person really likes. Okay. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. I'm getting distracted with other messages. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Six of Wands. So Six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving um, it could also be a card about like being given something like a gift. But what I think this is, is balance. I feel this person didn't treat you well in the past or they didn't treat you like you deserved to be treated. Um, they think that if they had just treated you better, they would have had success with you is what I'm getting here. Can I get one more for this queen of wands? I also feel like this person wants to give to you again. Uh, and they think that there will be a lot of success here if they were to do that. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why didn't you know about this Queen of Wands? Wow, the tower again. Yeah, there's something here. You know, and for some reason, this is an unexpected thing that they're doing here. Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. That's kind of like this reveal energy I'm getting. There you are, Gemini, by the way, with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Leaper, Aquarius energy. With When I see the tower with a card like a Queen of Swords or an Ace of Swords, I instantly think of someone revealing something, a revelation. I feel like this person wants to tell you how they feel. They've been admiring you from afar. They've been feeling these feelings, you know, these there's these needs, these wants that this person has now. And it's like they're being driven to do something about it. Tell me about this Four of Swords and Seven of Swords. Okay. Tell me about this Four of Swords and Seven of Swords. I think that was Justice. Tell me about the Four of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Queen of Swords, again. Can I get one more for this Four of Swords? Seven of Swords, King of Wands. Okay, I got a lot more than I was hoping for. Four of Cups and King of Swords. Wow, so this person has a lot to say. <laughs> I'm getting that this person, it's almost like they need to just come out with it, whoever this is. Let me just show you what I have here when I have cut the deck. The Hangman and the Four of Swords. Yeah, this person has not done anything about this. They have not spoken about this. They have not taken action towards this. Even though they want to, King of Wands is here. Again, there's this like need or desire. I feel like this person, Four of Cups, is not very happy in their life, um, not satisfied, not fulfilled. And so they keep looking back at the one person that maybe had them feel that way, right? You know, sometimes when things aren't working out in your own life, you can't help but think about the good times. Think about the, the, the times where things were you know, different or improved or whatever. By the way, the Knight of Swords is here as well. So yes, there's something here about like needing to speak up. Tell me about Justice and the Page of Cups. Tell me about Justice and the Page of Cups. What do we need to know about Justice and the Page of Cups? Four of Wands, yeah, this is definitely about making things better and Justice is behind the deck as well. So, balance. Harmony. Can I get one more for Justice and the Page of Cups? Tell me about Justice 
and the Page of Cups. There's the Queen of Wands again. Yeah, it's like they have to do this. Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And the Three of Swords. My goodness. I feel like this person has waited to make this decision because of the painful history you have with this person. Um, I'm also getting the sense that this person could be having a very difficult time right now. Especially if they're dealing with an unhealthy attachment. Maybe they're dealing with difficulties in their own life. And it's like steering them back to you. You know, it's like they're being redirected to you. You know, maybe they're not doing it on purpose, but it's almost like their mind goes back to you, right? Their thoughts always come back to you. Um, I also feel like there's hesitation here with this two of wands because of, you know, the three of swords is reminding me of the seven of swords. Wow, the ace of pentacles after that. And then we have the nine of swords. So yes, there's worries here, anxieties, and even maybe remorse because... If you didn't have this history, it wouldn't be so hard. Okay, let's see. Tell me about this Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands? Yeah, the Five of Swords. The world just wanted to show itself. Can I get one more for the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Wands? Yeah, they feel like they betrayed you. That's what I'm getting. Might have deceived you. Yeah, there's the Knight of Swords and the King of Cups. This is a very simple message. Very simple reading. Confirmations all over the place. Um, I feel like what happened in the past is it hasn't been easy for this person. I feel like they can't even look themselves in the mirror. Um... Whoever this is. It's like they have they have something to get off their chest. You know? King of Cups is here. The High Priest is exactly. They've kept these feelings hidden. They've kept how their emotions to themselves. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know about this individual? That Gemini is, has, or will be dealing with. Spirit. Tell us about this person. What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person that Gemini is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? Temperance, Sagittarius energy, taking their time, patience, harmony. The Temperance card is really about blending two very different things together in harmony. And there's balance, patience, moderation that's required. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know about this individual? Could be dealing with a Sag wow. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aries here with the Emperor. Yeah, this is a, a divine masculine energy. The Emperor is a doer. But I think this person, they're acting out or taking action in a very moderated, patient way. Restraint, that's the word I'm getting. This person's very restrained. Restrained? <laughs> this person's very restrained. English is hard. Um, and I feel like this person is um is really in um they're thinking in a very mature way. Um I feel like this person was not mature in the past. Or they've they've grown. This person was never and not oh let me let me start over. This emperor was not always an emperor. But slowly and surely, they're getting to this level. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck again. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. What's behind that? Yeah, the Two of Wands. This is the same person and the Eight of Swords. So this person has been res literally restrained. Here's the Eight of Swords. Someone that's stuck, tied up. Either they've been restrained by outside influences or factors out of their control. Or they're restraining themselves due to fear or because maybe they don't want to make a mistake. What's behind this? The hangman reverse. I don't have reversals in this deck. So interesting. The hangman reverse is someone that is no longer stuck. That's kind of what they're thinking here. How do I get myself out of this situation? How do I free myself out of this situation? Yeah, five of pentacles and then the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. Nine. I can't talk today. Nine of pentacles is all about freedom, independence. 
And it's almost like, you know, once again, this two of um, wands, I'm getting this person's looking at you online. Okay, let me get a clarifier. Can I get a clarifier for this person? Tell me about temperance and the emperor. Ten of wands and seven of wands. Yeah. So five of pentacles and the six of wands. Again, this idea of success, victory, recognition. This person is expecting a refusal or expecting things to be um, hard. I'm also getting that some of you, this person, this is outside of you. So this is not with you. Let's see. Tell me about the ten of wands and the seven of wands. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this? I feel like this is the outside. Yeah, okay, no, this is not. This isn't the outside influence. This is the, the past. The the energies between you and this person. Whatever happened in the past is an issue now for them. I feel like in their mind they're expecting to be blocked or they're expecting to have to fight for your attention, fight for um, a reconciliation, um... I'm also getting that a lot of time I have passed here. And that's why your person is thinking of resistance, difficulties. You know, it's almost like Gemini is not going to want to hear from me because of what I've done in the past or <clears throat> because of how things ended. I'm getting like choked up. And I think this person overthinks Eight of Swords. This is an internal thing. And it's almost like this person is, is they've slowly been through a process, I think, of getting to a point where they might be an emperor. What do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know? I regret lying to you. Yeah, so this person, and also I'm getting very strongly that they lie to themselves. And they regret that. They might have been in denial about something, this person. Bottom of the deck, I look for you everywhere. Yeah. This person, they keep looking back to you. It's it, Everything that has happened in their life recently or in the distant past, it, you know, it always comes back to you, Gemini. And I feel like you've had this reading before where someone just keeps looking back at what you're doing, what you're up to, how you are thinking about you all the time. Every time something happens, it's like they look for you. And it's fascinating because I feel like this is all leading up to a tower, a big reveal, because they have to get something off their chest. That's the only way that they feel they can have this Ace of Wands. But I think that to get something off their chest might take a lot of courage or when they do come to you to tell you what they need to tell you so desperately, I feel like they're going to expect rejection, like right off the bat. It's just, I'm just going to be rejected. So I might as well just at least apologize, right? I just want to tell Gemini that I'm sorry, that I have regrets. And just leave it at that. I don't even expect anything from Gemini. <laughs> That's kind of the energy I'm getting here. So I feel like there's some sort of unexpected reveal that's coming with this particular person. Um, and I also feel like, I don't know, it's like, it's like everything's slowly building up to possibly a new beginning with Ace of Wands. But it's not, this new beginning cannot happen unless this Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, until that happens, right? And they know that. So otherwise I'll leave it here, Gemini. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you be a part of the channel and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.